I'm guessing you learned how to type in your high school typing class. I know I spent a lot of time hunting and pecking before getting the hang of it. Most of us transfer our high school typing experience to the iPad. However, with a few valuable tips, I can help you master the iPad keyboard. That's what we'll be covering today here on Ellen's Tips for iOS. Let's get started. Are you aware of the predictive text feature on your iPad and iPhone? When predictive is turned on, this feature determines what you are trying to type next and offers words at the top of the keyboard, giving you quick access to tap on the word instead of typing it out in full. You might find this helpful, but you can turn it off if you don't. To access the predictive text settings, you'll need to come into the settings app, make sure that general is selected, come over and tap on keyboard, find predictive, and you can toggle that switch off. Once you do, if you come back into the notes app, you should see that the predictive text that was above the keyboard is no longer there. You can always go back in and turn that setting back on if you decide you find it useful. Inserting a period after a sentence is easy. Just double tap on the space bar and continue typing your message. To make sure this feature is enabled, you'll need to come into the settings app, tap on general, select keyboard, and where it says shortcut, make sure that that toggle switch is turned on. Sometimes you need to move the cursor on your iPhone or iPad. Apple makes this simple by allowing you to drag and drop the cursor wherever you need to. This works in any app. All you need to do is push and hold on the cursor. You'll see that it becomes magnified and you can take and drag that cursor to wherever you need it to be. Quick Path makes it possible to type faster by swiping instead of tapping. Keeping your finger on the keyboard, you swipe from one letter to the next until you've spelled out an entire word. Then lift your finger and start swiping the next word. With practice, this feature is hard to beat. Now, on the iPad, it's a little bit different because you have to use the floating keyboard to access this. If I start swiping here, you'll see that nothing happens. So if I pinch to zoom in, I get the smaller keyboard. And if I just start swiping, you'll see that uh, friends is spelled out by, by swiping. And I can use the pinch to zoom to re-enable the full keyboard. And if I've made a mistake and I want to redo that, just tapping on delete erases that whole word. Tap and hold on the space bar, the keyboard will transform into a trackpad. And now you can slide across the trackpad, placing the cursor wherever you want it without lifting your finger. You can even use this trick to select text on your iPhone or iPad. At the same time as you're moving the cursor, once you get it to the area where you want to select, use another finger and tap and you'll see that we can just drag across to the text that we want to select. Double or triple tap to select text. If you double tap on a word, it will select just that word. If I triple tap, you'll see that it selects the entire paragraph. A pop-up menu will appear so that you can edit the text. And this works on your iPhone and iPad, making it easier to select the text, copy, paste, or cut it. If you have multiple Apple devices, you can use the universal clipboard to copy text from one device to another. Again, there's nothing you need to set up. Instead, you're going to use the standard copy and paste functions on each device. So, if I triple tap to select all the text and I tap on copy and I come over to my iPad and I push and hold on the cursor until the paste button appears. If I tap on paste, you'll now see that I've copied the selected text from my iPhone to my iPad. If it doesn't work for some reason, be sure 
that you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and Bluetooth is turned on. In addition, your devices must be on the same Apple ID account. And the, as a last resort, when this hasn't worked for me, what I did was I've signed out of iCloud and signed back in, and that re-enabled this function. Foreign languages often use accented characters that you rarely find in English. To access these characters, push and hold on the letter, revealing all the variations. So if I come to the O and I push and hold it, you'll see that all the variations are listed there. And if you just bring your finger up, you can pick out whichever variation you want to use. If I come over to the E, the same thing as well as the A. You can even, if you want, come into the numbers area, and if you want to add the degree symbol, push and hold on the zero, slide your finger up, and now you've added the degree symbol in the numbers area. Text replacement allows you to expand text shortcuts to words or phrases that you frequently type. This could be your postal address, email address, or any text that you type out frequently. Let me show you how to set this up. You'll come into the Settings app, you'll choose General, select Keyboard, and tap on Text Replacement. Tap on the plus sign, and now I've copied uh, what a, a phrase that I want to use. I'm going to push and hold, I'm going to hit, hit Paste, and as you can see, I pasted in my email address. I can create a shortcut or... Apple will create one for me. I'm going to go ahead and just create my own, and I'm going to type in E-M and then comma, comma, and I'm going to tap Save. Now, if I come into the Notes app, and this can be used anywhere that you can type text in, but if I come into the Notes app and I tap, type in E-M, comma, comma, you'll see that that email address is ready to be uh, entered in there. All I have to do is hit return, and now that email address has been uh, added. So you can use shortcuts like this to add things that you type over and over again. One of the best features of the iPad keyboard is dictation. Why type out a long text when you can speak it to your iPhone or iPad? Dictation works exceptionally well. Let me show you how. So you'll see that the microphone for dictation is located next to the space bar down in the bottom left corner. Once I tap on that, uh, I need to start speaking whatever it is I want to type out. And if I want to use punctuation, I want to say that punctuation. So if it's a period, I'll say period, a question mark, and so on. So let me show you how this works. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads, period. If you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell, period. Once I hit that keyboard icon, I'm back to the regular um, keyboard on the iPad, and as you can see, Dictation works very well. You just have to, uh, you know, try it for a while and get used to it. And once you do, it's so much faster than typing. Go ahead and try out these tips. Open the Notes app and work through the information in the video. Let me know in the comments how you plan on using these typing tips. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.